Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's time to start putting together the volcano quilt. So if you wanna see how I stitch these pieces together, please stay tuned. I'm really excited for this stage in the process. If you've been following me, you've seen this project go from a, an inspiration photograph to a drawing to figuring out how much fabric we needed, to um, selecting the fabrics, to cutting out the pieces, and, um, and laying everything out. So now it's time to start stitching this together. I actually have already stitched the top row, and one interesting thing that happened as I stitched all these together is that my pieces are now um, longer than the design board. So here I have a little extra hanging over the edge. I think that's going to be fine. It's going to make a nice wide quilt. I don't know if it's going to be longer than it is. I don't know if it's going to be wider than it is long. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, I have, like I said, the top row is already done. It's time to start stitching the second row. Uh, there are a few things that are interesting to point out. Um, again, this is the Tumbling Blocks quilt design. Let me see if I have my template. I cut out the pieces using my Missouri Star Rhombus um, template. And I made two, there are two cuts. One is the triangles here. I'll pull this one down so you can see it. Just a triangle. And the other one is a diamond. And here's the diamond. As I was uh, putting these together, there are some places where I'm using two triangles to get the diamond, like right here. This is two triangles um, to get that diamond shape. But again, it, it's not going to matter. Hopefully you won't be able to tell. Um, I will point out a couple of them in the top row. This is two triangles and these are two triangles. Um, but once everything is put together, hopefully you won't be able to tell because the fabric is the same. Um, I want to go to the machine and show you how easy it is to stitch these pieces together. Um, one cool thing about these pieces is they do have the little, um, they, instead of having a sharp point at the ends, they're actually, uh, you have to cut off a little tip of the triangles and the diamonds. So you'll see that when I go over to the machine. Um, so let's do that and I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of pieces. I've already started the second row. So I'm going to just pull the first two down and get ready to stitch those together. Okay, so let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, I'm reminding you right quick that I'm in my downstairs area so the it is a little bit darker. I have put a light behind my camera. Hopefully that'll help you see it, um, see what I'm stitching a little bit better. I have two pieces that I've already stitched together, but the main thing I want you to see is the tip of this uh, diamond that it is already cut off. And then at the top of each triangle, there's the tip is cut off as well. And all I'm gonna do is put these right sides together here. And you can see that it gives a nice blunt edge so it matches perfectly. And I'm just gonna do a quarter inch seam to, um, to get these pieces together. And it's really simple this way. And that's what I like about the template that it does. Um, it does give us those, uh, the cutoff tips. And then I'm going to show you the second time. This is actually the triangle that's going onto the diamond instead of the other way around. Again, right sides together. And you can see that the tips line up here to give us a nice flush edge and then just stitch in that quarter inch seam. And I like to do this by chain piecing so that, um, so that I don't really waste a lot of thread. And I feel like it saves some time too and it helps everything to stay in order. Okay, so now after I get these stitched, um, I am trying to work toward opposing seams. So for the first row, I stitched toward the top fabric but this time, or I pressed, uh, finger pressed toward the top fabric, but for this row, since this is the second row, I'm finger pressing toward the bottom fabric. 
So I'm just gonna put it, I'm placing it on my cutting mat here and just giving it a gentle finger press toward that bottom fabric. And then, so you can see that here, all of the stitches are, I mean, all of the seam allowances are gonna be going to the right. In the first row, they all went to the left, okay? And right here, you can see that these corners, they, they don't exactly match up here, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue. All right, so now let's see how I go about doing each row. At this point in the process, I'm gonna take the pieces that I've already stitched and I'm gonna go ahead and place them back on my um, design wall in the order so I don't, um, I don't get things out of order. Now at this point, what I think I'm gonna do is um, speed up the video so that you can see how I go about doing the whole row. Um, it's really not too complicated, but I do wanna, I want you to actually see it in action. I'm actually gonna be going back and forth from my machine over there to the design wall and getting my steps in um, as I go through this process. So I'll speed up the video here so that you can see what we're working with. much as possible so you can see where the matching um, diamonds are going to be right here right there right there and the last thing that I'm going to do on camera is um, stitch these two rows together it's as simple as um, folding the top row down under the bottom row but I want you to, um, to take a look at that actually on the sewing machine so I'll meet you back at the machine in just a sec All right, as I prepare to put this on the sewing machine, this is the top row here on top. You can see that that seam is going up. The underneath seam is going down. I'm just gonna line these up 
here making sure that the seams nest and then I'm just going to stitch all the way down hopefully I'll only have to stop to um, to match up the seam allowances just to make sure that they nest nicely okay and I won't do the whole thing on camera I'll just do a couple of um, a couple of seams so and it does have a little bit of um, that, well, it may have a little bit of stretch to it, a little bit of bias. So that's going to give me some um, some leeway that I have to just make sure that everything lines up nicely. So just checking, double checking. And if it doesn't line up exactly, I'm not going to stress about it because, like I said, I should have enough room to play just to make sure that everything uh, gets where it needs to be. All right, so I, I think I'll probably just speed up the video here so that you can actually see the whole process, but it's gonna be just a little faster. So I'm speeding up the video starting right here. So I have the first two rows stitched together and I like it so much. I can't really tell if you can see the tumbling blocks. Some of them I can kind of see. Let me see if I can point out one or two because they're going crossways. They're not um, up and down like we're not used to looking at them. So like here's one and then these are the other two blocks. So this will be the top cube and then the or the top um, section and then the two sections on the side. Uh, here's another one, here would be the top, and then these would be the two parts on the side. Here's another one. Um, so I really, I like it so far. Also, I went ahead and pressed. I think that once I put two rows together, I will go ahead and press. I think it's gonna help it um, lay flat. Also, it's not quite as big as it was if I stretch it out down here you can see so it's um the stitching the rows together kind of helps push everything back together let's see oh you couldn't see that so you see it's just a little bit hanging off right there now i'm going to go ahead and start stitching all the rows and i'll show it to you i think i'll show with all the the horizontal rows done and then in the groups of two maybe and then i'll The bottom half of the quilt is done. It's all stitched together, but I actually have it turned on the, on its side so that you could get a look at the tumbling blocks. And there are a few in here. Usually when they met up in the middle, I would try to keep that the same so that um, there would actually be some tumbling blocks. It's harder to see when it's turned the correct way, but here's another one. And then here's one, you can see the whole block. Here's one, um, but I think the, the real cool part about it is once I turn it and you can see that lava going up. So let me turn it right quick and then I'll show you the final deal. So here it is all um, completed. Let me see if I can grab the picture that I drew and then we can kind of compare it to what's actually here. Let's see, I'll hold it up close. And so the part that we're focused on for this is this bottom section here. And then this is what it actually looks like. I hope that you can get a good um, picture of the values on the, the quilt. I, I like that I changed this middle section so that that dark um, orange kind of goes all the way through it. I like that I use darker blues on this side and medium dark blues on this side. I feel like it really shows up nicely. And then I like the gradation from the yellows to the medium oranges to the dark oranges. I think that on both sides that really um, 
that really adds something to the to what I'm trying to do here. And I'm really excited now because now that I've done the, the bottom section, the top section is not as big. It's only um, six rows instead of eight rows. So that's really cool because I know that I don't have quite as much to do. But uh, this process did take a lot of Hallmark movies and Columbo and Murder, She Wrote um, to get it done. But I, um, I guess this one good thing, I'm doing this during the uh, coronavirus quarantine. So it gives me a lot of time that I can work on this. And hopefully by the end of this week, I will have the, um, the top portion at least laid out. I don't know if I have it all the way sewn. So it's, it's a great project. If you have any questions about what you've seen in the video, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for um, watching this video, following along with this journey. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. And even if you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can see the next stage in this process. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.